From what we've seen, GTA 6 is truly going to be next level. Rockstar are taking the best aspects of GTA 5 and the best aspects of Red Dead Redemption 2 and combining them into almost a perfect game. At least that's what it looks like. That's what we all hope. In today's video, what we're gonna be taking a look at is GTA 6's inventory system and the weapon wheel. A pretty standard feature for all of Rockstar's games, but they're doing something a bit different this go around. And in this video, we're gonna be breaking it all down and taking a look at truly how the inventory system is going to work. Now, all of this information is coming from those 90 leak videos that came out last September. We're still going through and, and finding a bunch of new stuff. It's crazy. I don't know how long this is going to be up, uh, but if you do want to take a look at some of these leaked screenshots yourself and you don't want to like go out of your way to find them, if you go to the GTA 6 subreddit, they just started allowing the leaked pictures. Uh, again, I don't know how long Rockstar is going to let them sort of do that. But if you want an easy way to find and take a look at some of the leaked pictures, just go on Google, type in GTA 6 Reddit. It'll be like the first link and then you can browse through some of the screenshots. Now, because what I'm going to show you guys is from those leaked videos and because I can't actually show you guys the actual pictures, I decided to remake all of the pictures in Photoshop. So that's how we're going to be taking a look at the inventory system and the weapon wheel. I sort of looked at the leaked videos and then I just remade them in Photoshop. Now, the interesting part, and I guess this is just because of the way game development works. There were a couple of different clips that showed the weapon wheel and they were all different looking like as far as the UI goes. So I'm not entirely sure which one they're going to end up choosing to, to go with the final game, but we'll just start with this one. This was in one of the screenshots. Now, of course, there was like background gameplay. You could see Jason in it uh, again. Can't show that. So we're just going to have a blank gray background. But this is what the inventory system looked like. And one thing you'll definitely notice after looking at all of these different inventory systems and the weapon wheels is that it is very similar to Red Dead Redemption 2's weapon wheel and inventory system and not GTA 5's. As we all know, GTA 5 in GTA Online, you can have million weapons in your weapon wheel there's no limit where red dead redemption 2 put a limit on that you could actually only have two weapons two bigger weapons and a pistol on you when you're walking around the rest of your weapons were actually on your horse it looks like rockstar is going with that same sort of realistic uh way of thinking with gta 6 so what you're seeing here the one in yellow is what is sort of equipped and that was just a pistol the rest of the other little slots, I'm sure, are just for smaller items, but you actually only have one big item slot at the bottom. And this was actually a common theme with all of the other different variations of uh, the UI. You only ever had that one slot at the bottom for a big weapon, which means if you're on foot, it looks like you only can carry one weapon one big weapon on your back. And here's just some AI generated pictures of some of the leaks. Like they're not the best, but it gets the job done. This There was a, a video clip of Lucia. She had like a pistol in her hand with a the rifle on her back. So I'm assuming that's how you'll carry it. Now this one is, just, is literally just floating there. I'm guessing maybe in the end they'll put like a strap or something so it doesn't look like it's just floating. But that's also a change, a pretty big change from GTA 5 where it just sort of disappears. It goes into your pocket. In GTA 6, it'll look like the guns will actually show up on your person. Now, if you did want to carry two bigger weapons, you can still do that as shown by this little uh, screenshot-ish. Again, made from AI, but it gets the job done. This is Jason. He is actually holding an assault rifle with a shotgun on his back. So I guess what Rockstar's doing here, you can still have two weapons, just one always has to be in your hands if you are on foot. Now, I guess because this was sort of like the alpha stage of the game, maybe they add an extra slot like Red Redemption 2 and, you know, RDR 2. You have the slot on the left, which you can see that's for one gun, one rifle. And you have the slot on the bottom, which is for another bigger uh, rifle or shotgun or something. 
And then you also have the pistol slot up at the top. And I don't have it unlocked in the story just yet, but at a certain point you can also dual wield the, the pistols in RDR2. And that actually does look like it's coming to GTA 6, uh, which we'll take a look at. But going back to the original screenshot or the original sort of mock-up of the inventory, a couple other things you might have noticed apart from the weapon wheel is the stuff on the left. There's a trauma kit. Yeah, a trauma kit, as well as a couple other things. There's a little RX pill bottle. There's also cigarettes, and they all had the numbers next to them. So apparently you can only carry five trauma kits, uh, where you can carry 10 cigarettes, 10 of the RX pill bottles this is going to be pure speculation but i would imagine the trauma kit obviously is for health that'll get your health back up the rx kit or the rx pill bottle probably is for like stamina if i were to guess if we're going to compare it to rdr2 and then the cigarettes i believe in red dead redemption 2 just increased your dead eye so in gta 6 whatever your special abilities are the cigarettes will probably increase that. Now you can see that you can scroll through them. So I guess there's even more than we're seeing here. You know, maybe things like armor. In a couple other clips, we got to see J Jason and Lucia pick up fruit, wine. Uh, one was one picked up a Slim Jim. So maybe those are other ways you can increase some of your, uh, your stats. When it comes to this sort of new uh, inventory system and these new uh, items that you can pick up, they're probably going to work a lot like Red Dead Redemption 2, where you have a bunch of different items to eat. Uh, you have a bunch of items that basically just buff your, your health, your stamina, or your dead eye, or your special ability. So again, in GTA 6, it does look like it's going to be pretty realistic. Now, let's take a look at another screenshot or another mock-up from one of the clips. Now, this one might have been further along in development because this one does look slightly better as far as the UI goes. This one is very similar to the RDR2 system where it's just one weapon wheel and then you have your weapons. You can see at the top. You also have your equipment, which you can you know scroll to. And you also have your gear, which you can scroll to. And that's actually... If we take a look at RDR2's gameplay, it's literally the same thing. You can have your weapons and then you scroll, see all your inventory for your whatever equipment. Uh, and then, of course, in RDR2, you have your horse tab. It's different from the gear tab. But this one, you may be seeing two sort of big weapon slots. But the one in the middle is actually what you have equipped. That doesn't mean there's two weapon slots are two big weapon slots because right after uh, they showed, you know, with the, the rifle, the bolt action sniper, I believe Jason dropped it and then he equipped a pistol and this is what it looked like. So the pistol is then in the middle. So it literally just the one in the middle is whatever you are using. A couple other things though to note about this one, there's more of these tinier slots. So I guess unlike RDR2 where you can only have like one pistol, you might be able to have multiple pistols. Of course, there's a bunch of other stuff in GTA games like the Mollets of Cocktails. Uh, there's a flashlight, of course, unarmed, the knife. I'm sure that maybe there's like a stun gun. So I guess Rockstar is trying to hit a balance here between realistic and then still fun. So you can still have a bunch of smaller weapons, but you can only have really up to two big weapons if you have one in your hands at all time. This one also at the bottom you can see has like the name. So whatever is in your hand, it'll say bolt action sniper at the bottom. Uh, it literally said information goes here in the clip. So I guess they hadn't done that yet, but I'm sure maybe that's where like stats and stuff will go. There was however, one final clip where we got to see the inventory this time it was with a duffel bag. And I'm sure this is probably how rockstar wants you to, to have multiple bigger weapons. You have to equip a duffel bag. It, it's very realistic. It makes sense. This is what it looked like in the inventory. It's the same sort of weapon wheel, but there was a little duffel bag icon sort of at the bottom. And again, it was in the middle, so you know it was equipped. And if you went to it and you hit like A or whatever it was to select it, it opened up the loot bag menu. Now it did say loot bag, so I don't know if that means there's other type of bags you can get, but then it just opened up into a big empty gray area so i guess maybe in here you could see different loot if you're you know going through stealing stuff again maybe this is how you stash bigger weapons like if you want an rpg or something you have your loot bag and it's in there now going back to what the weapon wheel looked like you could see there's two different slots they weren't equipped with anything uh, above the loot bag 
And that's where the dual wielding probably comes back. For like a half a second, whoever was controlling this hovered over one of those slots. I think it was the right one. And it ended up saying like primary hand slot. So again, yeah, you could probably have two things in your hands, which is very realistic. Maybe you could have like a Molotov cocktail in the left hand and your pistol in the right, or you just have two pistols. So I think that pretty much confirms that dual wielding is in fact returning. So in the comments, let us know how you feel about this sort of somewhat realistic inventory system and weapon wheel system that it looks like GTA 6 is going to have. Now there is one final thing that was in these leaked videos that was pretty interesting. In a couple of the clips, you got to see this text at the top right of your screen. It showed either Jason or Lucia acquiring different things uh, for the inventory. One was a flashbang and one was a spear ammo. I'll be making a separate video on a bunch of the weapons, the new weapons coming in GTA 6, because yeah, there's a spear gun. That sounds crazy. But under that, you can see there was also a tab that said shared, and it had a bunch of different things. You can see wine, fruit, uh, again, ammo went there. So I guess they'll end up being three different inventories you have in the single player. You'll have one, of course, for Jason, one for Lucia, and you'll also have one shared. I don't know. Again, that's something we'll have to just wait and see how the shared inventory is going to work. But that is another pretty interesting feature coming to the game. You'll actually be able to share your loot with the different protagonists. And actually, the final thing I'll say in case anyone is freaking out that GTA 6's inventory and weapon wheel system is going to be super realistic. You only have like one big weapon, maybe two, maybe three if you have the loot bag or the duffel bag. This all might change for the GTA 6 online. They might not go as realistic in the GTA 6 online. I haven't played Reddit online in forever, so I don't know uh, how it changes compared to the single player for RDR2. But that is something that I wouldn't worry too much about just yet. But at the moment, and I doubt this is really going to change because this is probably one of the first things they got working. It looks like in GTA 6, the single player... It's going to be pretty realistic. You can only have a handful of weapons on you at once. They'll probably end up being some sort of like personal vehicle stash, which is where all the other weapons will go, which will mean you'll have to actually look out for your personal vehicle. You're not going to want to crash it and blow it up every two seconds. But in my opinion, I think this is actually going to be pretty neat and pretty cool. Let us know again your thoughts in the comments. If you like this idea, don't like it. Like I mentioned, I will be doing more of these GTA 6 sort of in-depth videos. So be on the lookout for them. Rockstar aren't going to give us a trailer or any information anytime soon. So like I always say, we have to do it ourselves. And thankfully, we got those 90 leak videos to look at. That's going to do it for today's GTA 6 video. Thank you all for watching. Please drop it a like. If you did enjoy, subscribe for more GTA 6 content. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.